Gus, we're joined now uh, from East London by our favourite maths teacher, Bobby Seagull, who's going to explain just how unlikely the lottery Morning, it is. Bobby. And also Morning, in the Bobby. studio, we've got uh, Andy Carter from the National Lottery, who advises uh, those who are fortunate enough to, to win some significant slices of cash. Bobby, let's come to you first of all. I, I can see you've got uh, a whiteboard behind you. So run us through the numbers. What, what are the odds? Yeah, so um, essentially the way you have to think about it, Dan, is, is there's two bits of the lottery. There's the main numbers, and then you've got the lucky stars, yeah? So in the main numbers, question for you, how many numbers are there altogether? Do you remember how many there are? Oh, no, oh. I'm not a lottery player myself. No, don't know, go on. 50 numbers, right. and you have to get five of them. You have to get five of them. So with my students, I actually did this as an exercise yesterday. So the first, the chance of getting the first number is five out of 50. That makes sense, yeah? So there's five numbers yeah. out of 50. But in maths, it's something called conditional probability. Because once you've got the first one correct, Sally, which you're going to get right, okay. then the second one changes because there's only four left over. So it becomes multiplied by four out of 49. But now, can you guess the next one? What's the chance of getting the next one? Three so out of 48. Yes, yeah, so we've, got, we've got a mathematician here. Brilliant. And the next one? Genius. Two out of 47. Two out of 47. And the last one? Oh, it's like GCC maths again. One out of 46, Bobby. Dan, you're not as good at Strictly, you're good at maths as well, I love this. <laughs> <laughs> so this actually gives us 1 in 2.118 million. So you think, okay, it's not too bad, it's not too bad, but we've got the lucky stars. They're not so lucky for some people, the lucky stars. So there are 12 of these, and you're trying to get two of them. So the first lucky star, the chance of getting is 2 out of 12. But this is also conditional. So once you've got the first one, you only need... One out of how many left over? Eleven. Eleven. I, I, love, I love the maths from BBC Breakfast here. <laughs> <laughs> That's one out of 66. But now you've got two events that we have to multiply. So you multiply the one in two million times the one in 66. And that gives us one in 139 million. Oh, no. 838,160. Stop. Stop Stop writing numbers, Bobby. Yeah, what's our chances of getting to Vegas with those sort of odds? None whatsoever. Now, Andy, come on. You have got, I think, one of the best jobs ever. What a lovely thing to do, to talk to people who've just won millions and millions of pounds. What's the first thing you say to them? What's your first bit of advice? Well, our advice is sage advice, but we always say take your time, do nothing quickly, let it all sink in. They've had a life-changing, um, amazing experience. And, and really? Not just a little splurge? And yes, oh, tr tr treat yourself, of course, but yes, just, just let, 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 let it let it sink in. I mean, if someone wins £184 million on the National Lottery tonight, they'd be Britain's biggest ever lottery winner. And, and actually, they've got the opportunity to do, to do a lot of good. Yeah, wow. I think the, the, uh, I'm interested in what that one of the um, young people in that uh, piece from Croydon said about um, being sure that money wouldn't make you happy, but it does give you choices, doesn't it? And I think that, that, that's the thing. There's that assumption that if you won that sort of money, that everything would be fine. But there's still, can be, you know, life can be difficult, can't it? That, that's right. And, and, and our job at, uh, at Camelot is to make sure that actually winners have lots of great support and advice go, go, going forward. If you win £184 million, pound, our job is not to just throw the money at you and run off into the distance. It's, it's about making sure you have access to good legal advice, good financial advice, a life coach that will help you sort of manage change, um, a concierge team that will help every dream come true. But actually, the other thing is access to other lottery winners. There's a community of lottery winners. If you win a lot of money on the National Lottery, the best thing you can do is have a cup of tea with another lottery winner because they're the only people who understand. Who pays? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> who pays? Everybody. Uh, Bobby, uh, I don't know if you do the lottery, having looked at those odds, but if you did, what would you splurge 180 odd million on? Oh, so my plan would be to buy West Ham Stadium and fill right. it with lots of math textbooks. <laughs> textbooks in every single seat. What a great idea. See, there you go. And it's interesting what you say, Andy. One of the things that you can do if you win a lot of money is you do something good, give mm. something back, and I guess that makes you feel happier too. Yes, absolutely. I mean, the, the top 12 lottery winners in the UK have all won more than 100 million. And, and, and they've all done amazing things. That They've set up charitable trusts or they've given money away. They've made other people millionaires. Um, so actually, everything trickles down. And, 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 uh, and, and I think it frees people up to do, to, do, to do some good. They want to be philanthropic with it. And Bobby, for those who are uh, keen to get involved, is there a sort of math strategy? Can you, can you apply probability rules? Hmm. So actually, this is an intersection between mass probability and more psychology. So humans, we're not very good at picking random numbers. Our random numbers tend to have patterns. For example, if you're asking people to pick numbers for the lottery, a lot of people tend to pick numbers under 31 
because they're birthdays, family, your mom's birthday, nan's birthday, dad's birthday. So avoid, if you can, numbers from one to 31, not because it won't stop you from winning the lottery, but you'd end up having to share it with other people, which you don't want to share the 184 million. <laughs> and also, actually, Sally and Dan, things like consecutive numbers, you might think, oh, I'm going to be really smart. I'm going to pick one, two, three, four, five. Ha ha, no one else is going to pick that. Numbers with patterns like that, again, someone else will do that. So you want to pick the most random possible. So actually, you know the lucky dip on the lottery? That's probably the best way of trying to win an independent wow. lottery by yourself. Andy is nodding along here with you, Bobby. If you were allowed <laughs> Andy, like, to do the lottery, would you do that? You, you are not allowed, are I'm you? not allowed to play, play, play lottery. Yeah, I think I, think I would play, play, play lucky dip. I mean, we see lots. Of, I mean, it's about half and half. You know, lucky dips versus what we call cherished numbers that, that win. But yeah, I think I'd be a lucky dip man. Pre it's easy. Pre press press the button on the website, buy the ticket. It's it's easiest. Well, um, we'll we'll probably talk to you again if you get to speak to somebody who does win all that amount of money. Thank you very much. Pleasure, no um, um, Bobby, oh, oh, Bobby. Yeah, Bobby, Bobby, Bobby fancies it. Just remind us of those odds again. One in what? One in a hundred and thirty-nine million. Uh, and actually, according to the British Medical Journal, you're four times more likely to be struck dead by lightning. So actually, oh. uh, thank, thanks for that lovely thought, Bobby. Stay safe, people. Stay safe. <laughs> so, uh, weather now with Carol. No. Yeah, no, so, <laughs> thank you for that, Bobby. So Seagull, Vegas Andy. Good might to talk not to you. be happening after all. <laughs> yeah. Maybe not. Might have to park that trip to Vegas for now. Yeah. Never mind. One day. Uh, thanks very much, Andy. Great to talk to you, Bobby. Do stay with us. The headlines are coming right up.